The Song of Pelennor, Volume 3, On His Enemy, A Description of Pelennor's Mortal Enemy, Umaril the Unfeathered. Pelennor Whitestrake was the enemy of all elf kind that lived in Sirod in those days. Mainly, though, he took it upon himself to slay the sorcerer kings of the Aelids in prearranged open combats rather than at war. The fields of rebellion he left to the growing armies of the Paravania and his bold nephew. Pelennor called out Haramir of Copper and Tea into a duel at the Tor and ate his neck veins while screaming praise to Remen, a name that no one knew yet. Gordhauer, the Shaper's head, was smashed upon the goat-faced altar of Ninandava, and in his wisdom Pelennor said a small plague spell to keep that evil from reforming by welkined magic. Later that season, Pelennor slew Hatul on the granite steps of Kayatar, the Fire King's spears knowing their first refute. For a time, no weapon of the Aelids could pierce his armor, which Pelennor admitted was unlike any crafted by men, but would say no more even when pressed, when Huna, whom Pelennor raised from Grainslave to Hoplite, and loved well, took death from an arrowhead made from the beak of Kelephalel, the singer. The White Strake went on his first madness. He wrought destruction from Narlame all the way to Keladil, and erased those lands from the maps of elves and men, and all things in them, and Perif was forced to make sacrifice to the gods, to keep them from leaving the world in their disgust. And then came the storming of white gold, where the Aelids had made pact with the Aurorans of Meridia, and summoned them, and appointed the terrible and golden-hued half-elf, Umaril the Unfeathered, as their champion, and, for the first time since his coming, it was Pelennor who was called out to battle by another, for Umaril had the blood of the Arda and would never know death. <laughs>